Okay, I picked up a, an E-clip kit from good old Princess Auto. This is only 12 or 13 bucks. Three hundred pieces. I'm hoping that there's one in here that will fit around this little collar. Yeah, this might be the one. Slide that back. And I'll get that one later. I think that should work. And then down here I just wrapped a little little bit of wire around it to hold it. It'll be about a quarter inch one that should maybe a little smaller. There we go. Well, that should work. Okay, now on to a little bit of... Uh, I think the next thing I'll be doing the Healy coils on the head. Maybe cleaning the carb. And then seeing if it'll fire up. Okay, I think I'm going to pull the carb off. And uh, Lord knows how long it's been since since it was looked at. It appears this air box has to come off first. this knob just yeah looks like it does just slides off
So I got a half inch, two half inch nuts to get the carburetor off. It looks like it might come free once I can figure out how to get that this little clip undone. Wasn't much holding it in there, just a little piece of a wire. Okay. Lock washers and a nut. Just trying to get this hose clamp out of the way. That's off. Well, hopefully, I don't have to go in much farther than I already am. Just want to clean the carb up a bit. And this feels like an electrical, an electrical button of some sort. Oh, these are loose. not tight at all. Makes me wonder if somebody's been in here. Just want to have a quick look and see if it's all gummed up or varnished up or I have now no idea when the last time was it ran. It looks to be a nice there's no debris in the bottom. I'll put it back together and get it over to the garage where I can maybe soak some of it and the old ultrasonic, make sure all the jets are clear, etc. Try to figure out what makes it tick as it has the uh, the high and low speed jet setup. So I've never worked on one of these before. You'll be going through it the same time that I do. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to check was sort of how in plane the, the head was. This is 30 thousandths of an inch. There's a little bit of wobble to it this way. Not much. I think I'm going to try putting some sandpaper on this marble slate. Maybe just taking a, a hair off of this and see how, see how it cleans up. Okay, I sprayed the sandpaper with WD-40. Not putting any pressure on it. Just kind of letting it do its own thing. It 
using 120 grit, so I don't know if that's too much or not enough. Well, there doesn't appear to be any gaps. Looks like I got most of the surfaces. These are a little lower. They're not quite as proud, but I, I think the gasket will take up any sort of indiscrepancies in it. All right, on to cleaning the carb. But I don't really know how long this has been sitting. I acquired it a couple of years ago and not from the original owner so running capabilities were unknown. Well, it smells like gas but it, the cork doesn't smell terrible. Gasket came off in good shape. Hmm. Everything's coming apart really easy. And that's clean. Looks like somebody may have done a carb job for me. Well, this looks a tad greasy. Okay, up was towards the needle. that on to keep it the right orientation. What else needs to be taken apart? The choke plate's a fair bit grimy but that'll get cleaned up in the ultrasonic. Well, that wasn't overly tight either. What was the orientation on that or does it matter? And it looks like it swivels around. There's some kind of gasket. Perhaps. So I got a little bit of material out of there. It came apart in pieces. It feels like a steel surface, so I don't know if that would have been a an O-ring. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Okay, so that's rubber tipped. Fits into there, so I think I'll keep that out of the bath. Set these in to soak. I thought that might happen. Oh, 
Hopefully I got any gaskets out of the way. Okay, I'll run it through a few cycles, let it do its thing, then blow it all out, use some carb cleaner on it, and start putting it back together. Oh well, the ultrasonic's doing its thing. Do a little clean up on the air box with some carb cleaner. Well, that cleaned up pretty good. I think for this I might use some of the citric degreaser. I don't want to try using that brake cleaner and I don't want to destroy any of the writing. There, good as new. Okay, it's been about 12 or 15 minutes. Pretty clean, I think. I think I'll blow it through with some carb cleaner. And then blow it out with air, then I can assemble it. Okay, gonna reassemble the carb. I had to wait about a week or so for these lighter colored uh, needle valve seals to come in. There's two per, per needle valve. This has been run through the uh, ultrasonic cleaner but I'll give it a quick quick squirt through here and there everything inside it's pretty simple looking carb everything inside is clean This main jet, it's good and clean, so I'll put it back right there. That gasket fits on. like so. Put the seat for the needle back in. There goes a needle valve in the float. The gasket looks to be in good shape, so I'm going to 
reuse it. That and I don't have another one. seems to function well. Now for these gaskets. They came in a pack of 10 which is handy because I imagine this will have to be rebuilt again at some point. this bottom needle lever apart. Slide two of those on. Thread that bottom one or the, I believe this is the high speed jet or needle or what have you. I believe it's said to open at one and a half turns, so half, one and a half. And tighten these in so you have a little bit of A little bit of resistance. I'll have to set this to the right orientation once I put this all back on the on the old seahorse. Yeah, feels right. Okay, I'll slide two of these on. the packing net a little bit. Yeah, just want to feel a little bit of resistance. Put the rest of these away. wasn't a gasket between the air box and the carb when I took it apart, so but you are in pretty clean conditions out on the water.
All right. I'd say that's ready to go back on the boat. A little chunk of wire here for going through this pin after I put it in its locating hole. Drains closed. Just going to try blowing through this hole. It blows through. Flip it upside down. It's solid. So the the needle valve's working. Okay, so I just cleaned the plug up in a wire wheel. This thread looks to be in good shape, whereas this one's I don't know if that'll even show up, but there's virtually no thread left there. So I went down to good old Princess Auto, looked online for a number of these and found them on Amazon and other places. But uh, this is a spark plug repair kit. I think it was $25 or $26. And it's for an M14 uh, metric 14 millimeter diameter thread by 1.25 pitch and it appears to come with a little spreader after you set the Healy coil in and apparently this will re-thread existing holes I'll clean that one up a bit. And apparently uh, you don't need to drill out. You just keep running this. It's got a, a hex head. So you run this in and these edges will cut out the hole and then you ream it out for the uh, for the Healy coil. I've never done this before so I guess we'll see how it works. This came with three different depths I think the shortest one will be probably the appropriate one for this job. Okay, well I'll set this up in the vise and reset the camera and we'll see what we can do here. So I got the, the 3 8 set up with three-quarter socket for the the head of the tap. Most sites I went on said put a bit of grease on the tap. Make sure I get it in the right hole. Try to maintain the angle.
Well, it appears to have cut all the way through. Let's take a minute and go clean that up with brake clean and then we'll try putting that insert in. Okay, it's all cleaned up. Don't know if it shows up, but there's sort of a knurled part at the top of this helicoil. So that goes to the top. Got some permanent high temp thread locker. Make sure the inside of this is coated really good. coils in the in the head thread locked into place now it would appear that this is slightly beveled this punch so I'm assuming it's to spread out the the top of the Healy coil so it sets There is a slight shoulder left from where the the new hole was cut as compared to the lower one where the there's a bit of a shoulder but I'm thinking that'll work. So I'll let that set for a good 24 hours. So the other thing I think I'll do is take a punch and just peen around the edge to hold that uh, Healy coil secure. And again, I don't know if it shows up, but what it does is spread the aluminum a little bit, pushes it into the Healy coil and it'll stop it from turning. That along with the permanent thread locker it should be should be just like brand new. Okay, I peen the, the top side and now I'm gonna do the same to the bottom. Alright, and all that does is spread the aluminum head a little bit so it pinches in on the the Healy coil. And it's also Loctited so it should hold it solidly in place. And the other thing is, you see there's a shoulder at the bottom or the inside of this spark plug hole and there was a shoulder <clears throat> but when I uh, ran the larger tap through it took out most of it and I think I don't know how how much really is left there so I think I'll take the the Dremel and remove what's there just to be on the safe side I don't want that breaking off and falling inside when it's running. Hmm. 
Yeah, that should take care of it. We'll buff this up a little bit, get rid of some of uh, whatever carbon's there. Just using a little brass wheel and a on my driver and I'll clean this up. Yeah, I'd say it's ready to go back on the engine. The inside of these cylinders are in really nice shape. No pitting or grooves or anything. It's kind of hard to tell. Let me see if I can zoom in. So what I'm going to do is sort of do a cheater honing on them. I've got a little set of uh, slave brake cylinder hones and the 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 just fit I don't want to tear the whole block apart just oil up this hone a little bit Yeah, just put a little bit of a cross hatch on it. Use a little bit of brake clean. Put a coating of oil in there to roll it over. Oil it up a bit and oil up the hone again. That get, gets it all cleaned up where the compression stroke or power, power part of the cycle is. Nice little cross hatch. Cleaned up any, anything that might have been on the walls. Just lube it up. Pistons aren't carboned up. Everything looks pretty good. I don't know if this is the advance. It must be. It feels a little gummy, so I'll probably pop the top end off and make sure that's all cleaned up. That'll be for another video segment. The other thing I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to spray down all in here with brake cleaner and just clean up some of that debris.
but I won't bore you with those details.